Now, Sam wouldn't leave unless she's come up with a plan to get me out of here. As unsettling a question as this may be, what do you think Sam might do? Whatever it takes to prove that I did not torch Johnny's warehouse and Santos Lopez did. These guys are dangerous. I gotta stop her. Yeah, well, Detective Domestico. And what did you ever do to him, by the way? Because he's got the right to hold... I know he has the right. Jason, I'm sorry. Sam's on her own. I don't care what it takes. I'll do anything. But we need to be sure. My brother is dead. That I am sure of. And I will get my vengeance. The bastard who killed Tomas is going to pay. And so will anyone else who gets in my way. Someone's here. The best I can discern from Mr. Grasshopper is that he gave Sam a floor plan of a warehouse owned by the Lopez family, and then, and then he mentioned sidearms, and then there was some sort of mention of a dagger. Can you, can you, can you just get me out of here I am now? doing the very best that I can, but get... Hey, Mr. Morgan. I hope you're comfortable, because your super lawyer is not going to get you released early. Well, Detective Domestico, may I please see the evidence that connects my client to the crime in question? Because surely you have some. Well, it is amazing what you can find when you try hard. My, my. Is it just me, or did the good detective here just threaten to falsify evidence? Thank you so much, Judge Minton. That's, that's just perfect. You know, next time the martinis are on me, I can assure you. Judge Benton is willing to hear my petition for your early release based on lack of evidence. Thank you. Don't bother. I've just been called in to oppose. <laughs> well, at least I get paid well for wasting my time. You are aware that there is not one shred of evidence that connects my client to this crime. Tell me she's wrong. We got 48 hours to come up with something. Can you say harassment? Can you say wrongful arrest? You'll excuse us. Certainly. What the hell are you doing? I'm trying to keep Morgan off the street, which is a hell of a lot more than I could say for you. You can't go around arresting people who personally offend you, and I can't get in front of a judge without any evidence. I'm going to look like a fool. You already do look like a fool for letting Morgan out of Pentonville. All right? And everybody knows why. And you know what I'm saying. Corinthos has a thing for lady feds. You are standing on thin ice, detective. Yeah, at least I know what side I'm on. You pull another stunt like this, I'm gonna have your badge. I doubt it. There are no grounds for this arrest. My client isn't being questioned. He hasn't even been charged. He was sitting in the privacy of his own home eating breakfast, for Pete's sakes. You know that this is a violation of his rights. You! You can override the authority of a local detective, and I suggest that you do that, because actually I have to get to a sale. My reputation is already ripped to shreds. I got Morgan out of Pennville, and that's the last favor I can afford for him or his boss. Go collect the drop-off. I got business. Yeah, it was me. Who do you think? Nobody messes with us and lives. Blood in the streets. That's what I'll give them. see Johnny Sagara and he wants to retaliate for what we did to his warehouse. You run him down. I want him dead. What's, what's Morgan in for? Well, we like him. And also for uh, torching the Zakara warehouse. No way, on his first night out of prison. <laughs> well, he didn't waste much time getting back to work. He was with his girlfriend. He's friends with Johnny. Why would he burn down his warehouse? 
Well, somebody did. You know, what is it with you and these guys? What is it with, with me and, what, organized crime? Is it me and, and the job that I'm supposed to be doing? And the badge that I wear? You can't arrest people without probable cause. You know, you got it way too deep when you were undercover. You missed all kinds of chances to put your old man away. Look, if, if you don't think you can think like a cop anymore, maybe it's time you do something else. It hurts all of us when you bring these guys in for no reason. It makes us look ridiculous. So what do you want to do? Should I release them? Uh -huh. Innocent until proven guilty. Isn't that the basis of our justice system? And what about perjury? Huh? What about all the times that you covered for your old man when you were supposed to put him in jail? Look, if you don't think that you could do the job anymore, you should just have the decency to turn in your badge. Just talk to Ronnie. Where's Diane? Position the judge. Must be a unique experience for her, you being uh, innocent for once. Look, Santos Lopez thinks Johnny murdered his brother. We both know that's on Sonny. This thing between them is getting pretty ugly. Who knows when it's gonna stop and who's gonna die. You're free to go. The judge found Diane's argument more compelling than mine. Just so we're clear, I'm the one who got you out of Pentonville and this is where this accord ends. So if you and Sonny break the law, You'll deal with the consequences. Where are you? Good news, bad news. Well, just tell me. Okay, well, the good news is I got a bunch of incriminating evidence against Lopez. Okay, where are you? Well, that's the bad news. I'm trapped in the back of his van. 